Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Lasers have been a part of warfare for decades since the first laser machine was built. Only recently has the direct offensive use of lasers proven to be more viable as smaller and more powerful energy sources have been developed. One such system is the Boeing YAL-1. Theodore Maiman invented the first laser on May 16, 1960, at the Hughes Research Laboratory in Malibu, California. Maiman utilized a high-powered flash lamp to illuminate a ruby with silver-coated surfaces, causing the laser to activate. It took 36 years before this technology was incorporated into Boeing's YAL-1A airborne laser program. Which converted a Boeing 747-400F into a high-powered missile defense platform. The initiative, which began in 1996, focused on developing enhanced missile interception capabilities using chemical oxygen iodine laser technology. A chemical oxygen iodine laser is a near-infrared chemical laser that is invisible to the naked eye. Our atmosphere, however, causes distortion. The YAL-1A's deformable window and laser beam control system compensated for atmospheric distortion using adaptive optics. Six enormous optical windows positioned in the aircraft's nose turret had deformable mirrors. These could be changed hundreds of times per second to maintain beam coherence and accuracy. The technology adjusted for wavefront aberrations induced by atmospheric turbulence, ensuring that the high-energy laser remained focused on the target missiles during the boost phase. This advanced beam control technology enabled the laser to provide maximum energy to the target, despite aircraft vibration and atmospheric conditions at operational altitudes. Lasers are proving to be useful in countering UAVs. The U.S. Air Force has been conducting directed energy weapon tests at White Sands Missile Range. That's that. That's Pitting high-powered microwave and laser systems against unmanned aerial vehicles. The laser system generates kinetic effects by burning holes in target drones, causing them to crash. Most of the time we, we actually hit that and it actually burns a hole, a kinetic effect where it actually drops it out of the sky because of that burned hole. With high powered microwave, it may be a little different. It may just interrupt the actual performance and the, the weapon system will have to go back to where it came from. These devices, which are currently at a high stage of technology readiness, are designed to safeguard bases from drone monitoring. Another system was also tested by the U.S. military. The High Energy Laser Mobile Demonstration is a truck-mounted 50-kilowatt laser device that can melt through steel and destroy small, unmanned aircraft. I'm an artilleryman by trade for 37 years. I'm very excited about the future of laser technology. Our job at West Point is to educate, train, and inspire the future cadets for our great army. It's very important they become practitioners for future battlefields. 
during West Point trials, the device demonstrated precision targeting capabilities, blazing through a variety of materials while yet permitting manual operator control. Unlike traditional weapons, this directed energy device has instantaneous effects on the target and causes minimum collateral harm. Another laser was mounted on an AH-64 Apache. In June 2017, Raytheon and its military partners reached a critical milestone when they successfully integrated a high-energy laser weapon onto an AH-64 helicopter. Testing at White Sands Missile Range demonstrated the system's ability to track and engage targets while dealing with aircraft vibration and rotor wash. This was the first time a fully integrated laser system worked from a helicopter, demonstrating that directed energy weapons could be used from rotary wing vehicles. Laser power is also becoming more powerful in other areas. In May 2023, the Naval Surface Warfare Center showcased groundbreaking power beaming technology in the David Taylor Model Basin. Two 13-foot towers, each with a 2-kilowatt laser transmitter and a customized photovoltaic receiver, successfully delivered 400 watts of invisible laser power over 325 meters. Power beaming is the kind of technology that can change how we think about moving energy. We are taking a laser and shining it to a photovoltaic receiver, and photovoltaic is very similar to solar cells, but they're tuned for the laser wavelength and essentially transmit power without a physical infrastructure. This free space power beaming system demonstrated prospective uses for wireless energy transfer and represents a significant development in directed energy technology for naval applications. A promising area is using laser weapons from ships. In 2020, the USS Portland successfully demonstrated the laser weapon system demonstrator by disabling a UAV target. This 150 kilowatt solid state laser system represented a significant leap in naval directed energy weapons. This test expanded on the previous deployments of low power systems illustrating the Navy's progress towards creating ship-based laser weapons for fleet defense. Technology has also given us non-lethal methods to deal with crowds that pose a threat to public safety. Non-lethal weapons give military and security forces escalation options ranging from verbal warnings to lethal action. This category includes advanced directed energy technology, such as the active denial system. Unlike typical non-lethal weapons which need physical contact, ADS operates at enormous standoff distances that exceed small arms range. The technology sends out a focused beam of millimeter wave energy, which only penetrates the outer 1 64th of an inch of skin, forcing targets to instinctively move away without causing permanent injury. We're radio frequency, we go through the air as an invisible beam, and we've determined with 15 years of research that we're only heating that outer 1 64th of an inch, causing a very robust repel response.
crowd control, base defense, checkpoint security, area denial, and sensitive facility protection are all applications the system excels at. This technology enables security forces to maintain safe distances while managing situations that do not require lethal force. Solid state active denial technology is a cutting edge non-lethal directed energy system that uses 95 gigahertz millimeter waves. The device generates an invisible, quiet beam that travels at light speed and penetrates the skin to a depth of 1 64th of an inch, causing an uncomfortable heating sensation and forcing targets to move away. This technique represents a substantial leap in non-lethal crowd management and force protection. The system's adaptable design includes 360-degree coverage and electrical steering control for precision target engagement. Vehicle mounting choices improve mobility, while glass penetration capabilities increase efficacy against vehicle-based threats. That is freaking, that is awesome, that is sick, that is hands down awesome. That's like, nope, you're not coming down this, this road. Multiple redundant control systems enable precise beam positioning and power management. SSADT's operational applications range from urban combat mobility to entry point security, making it especially useful in crowd control and convoy protection. The system excels in perimeter defensive tasks, giving commanders flexible response options. Microwave power beaming also offers many new advantages. So the official name of this project is SCOPE-M, which is this complicated acronym that stands for Safe and Continuous Power Beaming Microwave. But what we're actually doing in the project can be stated in much simpler terms. We've been tasked by the Pentagon to deliver one kilowatt of electrical power at a distance of a kilometer using a microwave beam. Scope-M exhibits superior wireless power transmission technology by successfully delivering 1.6 kilowatts of power across a one kilometer distance, utilizing microwave beams. This technology runs at 10 gigahertz, ensuring an optimal balance of beam focus and air penetration. The system is made up of two major components, a transmitter with a 100 kilowatt amplifier and a focus adjustable dish antenna, and a receiver with thousands of X-band antennae and rectifier diodes, which convert microwave radiation to DC electricity. There is also an optical version of Scope-M, which uses laser technology. Scope-O displays laser-based wireless power transfer, delivering almost 500 watts over a kilometer. Unlike conventional solar panels, which only convert about 20% of sunlight, laser power beaming allows for more targeted and efficient energy transfer. Lasers have had a major impact on the world in various areas, including military and commercial.
They can be massive lasers that can target incoming missiles or lasers that can transmit electricity. Add other technologies like microwaves to the mix and the future has many possibilities. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.